And now, if there's something we can all agree on when it comes to Brexit quarrels, and there's not much, free data roaming while we were in the European Union was definitely a good thing. But now we've formally left. Some phone networks have said they're reintroducing those extra charges for calls, texts and messaging when you're on the continent. The mighty Vodafone was set to reintroduce roaming charges today, but late yesterday night, at the last possible <coughs> moment, the UK telecoms giant said it would be delaying, not cancelling, delaying this move. So what's going on? Are roaming charges coming back or not? What does it mean for our phone bills? And why has a company as powerful as Vodafone decided, so to speak, to hold its horses? Well, she's still with me, Miss MissMoneyBagPie.com, Jasmine Bertles, for this conversation. I know you cover phone charging a lot on your website. It's often a big chunk Huge. of ordinary people's household yeah. Bills mm -hmm. every month. What do you make of Vodafone's move? Well, thank goodness, frankly. I mean, honestly, if, if I were one of the, these big giants, I'd be holding back because, you know, we've got competition. So unless all of them decide together, and um, that's certainly possible, but if, unless they all decide to, yes, bring back big roaming charges, then any company that, that brings them in will lose customers. They just will, because people are going around, they're going abroad, they hate roaming wow. charges. Hate them. I mean, as you say... They're so sneaky. Yes. And we, we all, we can, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, we can all agree together. We hate roaming charges. They're very high, they're ridiculous, they're unfair. So... I mean, my advice, if, they, if they're listening, my advice to any um, mobile phone company is just do not, just say no, because people will rush to you if any of the others decide to add them. So the big picture here, Jasmine, if I'm not wrong, is that while European EU regulations, if you like, help to get rid of roaming charges, mm -hmm. um, what will really permanently keep roaming charges away from consumers is competition, yeah. is the market, yes. is commercial pressure from rivals, if you like. And these big mobile yeah. phone companies, they've set up their networks, they've, they've made all their sunk costs, mm -hmm. haven't they? Mm -hmm. Now it's just gravy. It's gravy. And it strikes me that roaming charges, of course Vodafone disagree, EE, GIFGAF, mm -hmm. all the rest of them who are thinking about making these changes... For a lot of them, this is just extra profit, isn't it? Well, it is. And, you know, I don't know about you, but, but I've seen mobile phone, just, just the, the general, um, general monthly prices are going up. So they're already charging us extra there. We're already, mm. again, this is part of the squeeze. You know, mm. we're seeing prices of everything going up. Certainly mobile phone charges. And I'm saying to readers, switch, 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 mm. because there, there are opportunities. And so I think, as you say, it is competition. And we've seen this with, with banks as well. Mm. More and more people are, are moving, particularly if they're business people and going abroad a lot, they're moving to Monzo, Starling, because the, the foreign exchange is really good. Similarly, business people who are abroad a lot and people who just like to go abroad for, for a holiday, they're going to switch. They absolutely are. It's the last thing you want when you've mm. shelled out on a family holiday, the flights, the accommodation, spend money, a few new clothes for, for parents and, and kids. The last thing you want is a couple of hundred quid extra bill because one of your kids has been, you know, texting their mate while, yeah. while, on, while on, on the, <laughs> exactly. on the beach. And it, and it strikes me, Jasmine, that this is a kind of trend in, in, in capitalism. You get a new industry mm. and you get a small number of players at the beginning and then you get massive competition mm -hmm. and charges go down for ordinary people. Mm -hmm. But then as the industry matures, it reconsolidates. The big people yeah. start taking out the smaller people, start buying them out, and then they get more price control again. Mm. It strikes me that that's where we are in this now mature mobile phone market. Col collaboration, if you like. Yeah. I wouldn't use the word collusion because that mm. would be illegal. But collaboration is starting to take the place of competition. Well, I think so. And, you know, as you're talking, I'm thinking again, it's, it's Angela Knight said she was talking about big state coming in. We may need that because that's essentially what's happened in the EU. Uh, trust busting. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, at some point, maybe government has to come in and go, that's the level. You do not go above that. Um, so, you know, we either have the competition or, as you say, if the competition doesn't work, if there is a little bit of chatting behind the scenes, mm. um, then, yeah, we're going to have to bring government is going to have to come in and go enough.